on 11 a.m. I have already shot two projects. It's been a very busy morning here. Poor Ryan, bless him, has been helping me with my projects this morning. He even went to the shop for me to get stuff for tomorrow's project. Real Ryan appreciation right now, but I actually don't know what I'd be doing right now without him. And as you can see, I'm just taking a moment to actually do my hair. This morning's shoot, I had a ponytail in, so I didn't actually need to do it, which was great because I actually had a hair appointment this morning, which got cancelled, which is fine because it actually worked out better it gave me more time to shoot um but it did mean that my hair is not looking its best as i would have hoped i did that thing where you time your hair washes like perfectly so that by the time you go to the hairdresser it's like ready for a wash and a blow dry without having to like you know overheat style your hair or whatever over wash your hair i thought when i saw you today i'd have like fresh blow dried hair and uh, i do not so i thought i'd uh, spruce myself up a little bit for you not that any of you care if i don't have absolutely perfect hair but it's on brand for me you know i try i really try it doesn't always work out but i try i'm actually just giving my ghd rise a go today which i haven't used in ages since i had the bob so i'm just kind of playing about because if i don't like it no harm done i'm washing my hair tonight so it's not like i have to sit with weird hair for a couple of days i'm just kind of going for some kind of swishy blow dried look i'm not really sure we're just gonna have a play and see how this works out but i'm basically using it to give like a root lift at the top and then trying to give it some kind of movement at the bottom i'm sure i'll get the hang of this eventually but right now i think it might be looking a bit ropey concentrate for quite a while there because i really want to get the hang of this it's like half the price of an air app i swear so i would like to be able to you know get that cute blow-dried look without my arms feeling like they want to fall off um which they do when i use a hairdryer i think that's a good first effort it's got some movement at the very least it looks better than it did about 20 minutes ago oh it's cute when you do this oh yeah i like that yeah okay so i'm gonna get on with the day i actually don't have too much left to do because i had to do everything so early before ryan started work so i think i have some editing to do and then we're just spending the day together it is also gorgeous weather which makes me so happy because it's been raining for like the past two days and someone said that it was meant to be raining for like the next 10 days and i almost cried because i was like i can't be stuck inside the house for a week my sleep has been so bad because i haven't been able to like really do enough like i haven't been my normal level of active so my legs get really restless and i woke up this morning and all my muscles had like seized up it was not cute so a walk is definitely on the cars today if not a whole trip to the gym if i can fit it in but who knows because i now actually need to wash my hair this evening so my whole day needs to be like rejigged a little bit but it's all good the end of like my busiest week of the year is in sight it's wednesday we love a wednesday I have one more project I think to shoot tomorrow. I have a few bits that I might do this evening as like extra bits because I really like to over deliver. But yeah, after that, I'm done. Ish. This morning's project has been for Jimmy Choo fragrances. So I have lots of Jimmy Choo bits in the tree. We have these lovely bits which I bought myself just to like add to the shoot. And we've had the boxes out under the tree it's all been very lovely and very cute yeah i'm so glad i bought the shoes and the bag i think they just really added to it so hopefully you'll be seeing that soon but i need to tidy all of this up now but before i do this is my little outfit of the day uh this is a new purchase this is one of my drunk purchases which uh I think some of them are going to be arriving today, which will be fun. However, I did do a mango order and I definitely don't think we'll see that for a few more days. But this was one of my drunk Zara, well, my only drunk Zara purchase. Um, I love this shirt. I have it in black and I wear it 
Uh, lots of you guys will have noticed I wear it a lot. It has just been my favorite over the past couple of weeks. I literally throw it on with these leggings, uh, which are from All Saints, and I just wear it literally over and over and over again because it's such an easy piece, but it looks really pulled together. And I noticed a while back that they did them in other colors and it's been on my list to pick up the white one for quite a while now. I did buy another white one thinking that it was this one, but it wasn't, the buttons weren't the same and the material was nowhere near as nice. Some of you may have seen, because I showed it in a vlog, uh, maybe about a month or so back. But yeah, I really didn't like that one. It just was nowhere near as nice quality as this one. So in my drunken state, I was like, screw it, I'm buying it. And actually no regrets, it is the most gorgeous material i really really love this material and the pearly buttons are just beautiful they make it feel so expensive but they really just like blend with the shirt so nicely that they don't stand out too much it's just very minimal just feels amazing to wear as well i absolutely love it and it doesn't keep me too hot but i also don't feel cold when i wear it either it's just the perfect shirt for this time of year so then i've got it on with my all saints leather look leggings as i just said and then these slippers which I believe I got them off John Lewis, but I can't remember what the brand is, but um, I absolutely love these slippers. So my Marge order has arrived. I hope that's how you say it. I'm gonna have to Google it and make sure that I'm not saying it really, really wrong. This was actually not part of my drunk shopping escapades which is slightly concerning because Marge is the kind of place that you normally order like one item from not for I'm really excited to try everything on but there is one item in particular that I am so excited about hope it's cute I really hope it's cute I actually don't think I can wait I think we're gonna have to dig it open right now how outrageous is this cardigan by the way do we hate it or do we rate it? Can you guys let me know? I need to know. <laughs> Am I crazy? I just felt like this was so cute. Given my love of cute shirts, I couldn't resist this one. Not 100% on the print in real life, but I'm gonna try it on and see how I vibe with it. Okay guys, what do we think? I'm just not sure on the little print of it. Is it too cutesy? Is the look actually just really cute? Like from afar, you can't really tell that it's bows. You can wear it tucked into the leggings or I can tuck it into like a pair of blue jeans, which I think could be quite nice or like black mom jeans, I think would be really lovely and like relaxed vibes, but I kind of like it with leggings. It's like, it's kind of like comfy chic. What do we think? Can you guys let me know? I don't know, the more I stare at it, the more I really like it. I think it's cute. Oh my God, this is so cute. Oh my God, I love it so much. <laughs> oh my god it feels so nice as well like the quality feels really really good oh my god the pockets are so cute oh, i really love it yeah wow what has happened to me i've worn a lot of pink this year you guys what do you guys think do you hate it or rate it because i feel like this is really going to divide people like, i just feel like with the leggings it's like i don't know it toughens it up a little bit but we could also wear this with like blue jeans and maybe like tuck it a little bit i don't know that could be kind of cute this was the one thing that i was like i'm gonna probably really hate that when it actually arrives but um yeah i'm so happy with it okay you have to hear me out this one this one is so cute i just love it there is something about this one that i am just drawn to and i can't even explain that this is so not my style i've actually tucked it but it comes in like a longer more respectable length than me uh, cropping it. So I like the fact that you can, I like the fact that it's like ribs on the bottom and you can like wear it longer, but you can also kind of tuck it under if you want to. I don't know what it is about this. I just really like it. Have I gone mad? Can someone please let me know if I have completely lost the plot. This coat is definitely a lot longer than it looks on the model, I would say, from my memory on the Marge website. However, I was kind of banking on that. It's this lovely, oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It's, I think it's a wool. It feels incredible. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I've just tied it really loosely, so it looks kind of messy, but this really reminds me of a jacket that I have from Zara that was a little bit longer than this, I would say, about five, six years ago, and I absolutely loved that jacket, and sadly, it got to the point where it had seen better days, so it was kind of like time to part with it, which was so sad because it was just 
my go-to jacket for the longest time it was beautiful it's just a little bit longer than this but this is like the better quality and slightly shorter version of that and i just think it's so gorgeous so you can have it with like the belt things undone you can have it loose like this and um, it's got lots of little like poppery buttons which is really cute if you do want to like wear it looser and not worry about having a tie waist which i think is a really nice touch um so it's not just a wrap coat which is great yeah i absolutely love this okay finally before i actually have to get on and do some work because i'm really procrastinating on my last two things on my studios right now let's do the advent calendar okay number seven Ooh, i haven't tried this before um this is the bomb de bright cream i love this brand like all of their products just smell like coconut and delicious things so um i'm excited to try that so it's got ahas and vitamin c but it's for your body that's cool remember to use a sun cream on your body if you're going to use that wake up smell the coffee and admire your bright complexion i swear the ordinary have a let's see Tell me you spend too much time on the Space NK website without telling me you spend too much time on the Space NK website. I basically have an encyclopedic knowledge of their products. Space NK continuing with the good products. I'm putting it in, I actually have to do some work. to get ready to shoot this morning i thought i would show you what i got from charlotte tilbury props to them because i'm pretty sure there's a lot of makeup in this box and they have packaged it very very small i really rate that that's a lot of makeup so we have a darker uh, magic foundation i've been loving that recently so for the days when my face is a little bit more uh, tanned if i've been using my saint tropez i can use that i'm just going to use my normal magic foundation today though because i don't feel like my face is that dark oh my god i've got so many brushes it. this is uh where it really got me so i got the powder and sculpt brush which looks like this i got this little eyeshadow blendy brush and then i also got the bronzer and blusher brush i've wanted this for years such nice brushes i think these are the best brushes oh i got a refill for... so this i uh, smashed up it's been empty for about four months but one of you in the comments let me know that you can buy refills which is amazing i love that well where is it oh god yes and i had a shade before that was too light so this is actually this is great so this is the celestial pearl palette which i thought would be a really nice one for christmas not one for today but really gorgeous and then i also picked up an airbrush flawless finish powder in medium two because i have shade one at the moment and it's way way too light so hopefully this is going to be a slightly better match i also picked up the instant look of love in a palette i had the lighter one of this uh, earlier in the summer and i really liked it but it wasn't quite to my uh skin tone so this one is definitely a little bit better and then i got this little eyeliner duo which is like uh, one for your inner waterline and one for your like lash line on each end which I thought was really handy and I've just been so in need of one of these eyeliners lately so hopefully this is a good one and I don't remember ordering this did they throw this in as like a freebie yeah this is not a shade that I would pick I am confused and then we have a collagen lip bath these look so nice I actually got one for Lauren for her birthday this one is like a peachy colour they do a gold one I regret not getting the gold one to be fair i need to speedily get some makeup on my face and i will link everything in the description box but uh, i basically need to be ready to shoot in the next like 10 15 minutes so we're gonna we're gonna speed this up i wish you could speed this up in real life as well that would be great
we're done. This carbonara is very good. Ryan is literally like loving life. life. <laughs> I pay you to help me shoot in food. <laughs> is it worth it? Yeah. Is it worth it? Mm, so good. I think there's even some bacon bits left in here. <laughs> Didn't tell you about oh. those. <laughs> Okay, so we have finished shooting, we've finished eating. Ryan has gone to the studio and I'm off to Asda to get jacket potatoes for dinner because I am living my most glam life. I'm wearing my Marge coat, which I am just obsessed with. I love it, I have no regrets on buying it. Also really happy with the cardigan too. It's kept me so warm this morning and I realized I had the heating down super low, like it was basically off and I was actually really nice and warm in it. So I'm really impressed with that. I then have my All Saints leather leggings on and then my Converse. I've also got a high neck body on underneath for the warmth. Off to get my jacket potatoes. See you in a minute. Love you. Good morning, everybody. I'm on the way to my dentist. I'm actually early for once. I know, but um, I'm actually going for an orthodontic appointment this morning, which is something that's been going on for a little while, and I finally decided to go for it. And I'm really excited. I can't remember what we're doing today, but I've had all of my like digital uh, molds done. It was really cool. They don't have to put the gross stuff in your mouth anymore. Love that. Having your teeth straightened has really come a long way since I last had my braces. I'll talk to you a little bit about this later. I want to sit down with you properly. I've got really quiet because there's two girls behind me that literally just stopped talking and started watching me. Um, <laughs> really awkward. But yeah, I'm on my way there now and I'm gonna bring you along with me. Like I said, I can't remember what's being done today. So it could be something major, could be something little, but I thought I'd bring you along either way. And then after, I'm picking up my new glasses, which I'm so excited to show you. I actually will wear them. I will wear these ones. I love them, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna to talk to you about that in a little bit as well. But until then, it's time for my dentist appointment. My dentist is in this lovely little spot in Brighton. It's literally this building right here above Subway, which in my non-vegan days was just the best thing ever. Um, just in my Subway loving days, it was the best. Oh, cute! There's also a Christmas market and a little fair down here, and I'm dying to go. Has anyone been? Is it good? Can you let me know? Okay, so guys, this is the before, and this is the after, so you can see they're just jutting out a little bit more. Yes. I can, can confirm this is the cutest I have ever looked. <laughs> Such a nice morning. I actually just went to the shop to get some bits. I'm making banana bread this afternoon, which I don't make often. I actually don't bake often, but I had a lot of bananas that I didn't eat this week. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. It feels like a real luxury. I'm hopefully gonna finish up a little early today because I'm working on the weekend. I do my cleaning, do some baking. I'm excited. I got my braces in, so my mouth might look a little bit different to normal, but honestly, compared to the retainers that I normally have, this feels like a dream. So backstory for those of you that don't know, which might be quite a few of you, I had braces when I was 15 years old. Ever since then, I have worn a brace every single night, which I don't know whether I should show you, but it basically clips over the roof of your mouth and has this really thick uh, plastic and wire bar that goes across the front of your teeth. It's really chunky and it just does not look cute. And it is getting so 
old now like i said i've been wearing it for 15 years every single night but the problem that i am finding with my teeth is that even if i skip wearing them for a night which you should be able to do when you've had the whole train track braces and then you have a nightly retainer um just one night shouldn't really uh, affect you too much but the pain that i get if i miss a night is quite substantial and there's a tooth here that loves to move it wants to be I'll try and find a photo and I'll put it here of what my teeth used to look like when I was a kid. Um, I actually just wouldn't smile because it looked like I was missing a tooth and it always made me so sad. So having straight teeth has always been a big priority of mine because they looked like that. Um, they weren't horrific, like my teeth are good. I have very, very good teeth. I love going to the dentist. I've never actually had any work done. My dentists actually think it's hilarious. I've been going there since I had teeth as a child. Um, and the dentist that you, we used to see was my dad's dentist from when he was a kid. No treatment, no issues whatsoever. Just the placement of a few of them was really off and annoyingly they just want to move back. They're always trying to get back to where they were, especially this one. This one is the worst. Um, so just a couple of nights without a brace will see it moving quite significantly. So in addition to wanting a retainer that was just a little bit less like impactful on my, I don't know, like when I wake up in the morning, if someone knocks at the door and I haven't taken it out yet, I have to answer the door and I have this like huge mouth guard thing in. It's just annoying. It looks ugly. It really impacts my speech. This, they were like, you'll probably have quite a bit of trouble talking with it in and you'll be quite lispy. And I probably am, but nowhere near as bad as my nighttime retainer. So whilst I was already thinking about replacing it with something like an Invisalign, retainer that you get at the end of your treatment anyway i'd also been thinking about having like a bar put on the back and i just thought you know what for all of the little gripes i have i might as well like this tooth has always sat a little bit further back and this one sits a little bit further out i think i have some footage that we took when we did uh like the digital molds for my teeth um so i'll show you i'll insert that now so hopefully that kind of showed you what my teeth are looking like and i think you saw a little bit earlier in the vlog footage as well this one sits quite like diagonal which is great when you're like photographing from the side but this one sits a little bit more front on and like i said it is a bit further back as well so when I'm being photographed, if I'm photographed at the wrong uh, like lighting angle, it almost looks like the tooth is so much further back than it actually is just because of how the light's hitting. So I just wanted to rearrange them a little bit. If I'm gonna have to have a new um, like evening retainer made anyway, and a bar fitted on the back of my teeth. I was like, I might as well do the full shebang with these, just these front four teeth because the rest of my teeth are really great and just get that sorted because it's something that has bugged me for like the last, I'm gonna say ever since I started YouTube, it's the one thing that I like immediately notice if anyone photographs this side of my face. And, and I just thought, you know what, whilst I'm getting like our new retainer sorted and all of that, I'm just gonna do this all in one go so that it's done. We can put the bar on the back of my teeth so that if I go away for a night and I forget my retainer, my teeth aren't gonna be like hugely impacted by that because the bar will be keeping them in place. So yeah, I am excited. I'm excited to just like, straighten them up that tiny bit but i'm also so excited to get through the eight weeks get that bar on the back of my teeth and then i just don't have like it's so painful if i don't wear my retainer for one night my teeth will be aching the next day like when you've had like train track braces and you've just had them like really tightened but except worse because you know that your teeth aren't going in a way that you want them to be going in you know that they're trying to move back so it's not cute so yeah i have a little button I think here yeah and a little button here and then buttons on like the backs of my teeth as well but we're only focusing on these front four teeth um and so far it's really comfortable and uh, they said it might feel a little bit tight it doesn't it actually just feels like my normal nighttime retainer so I have a week of this and then I have to switch my retainer every week I like the fact I'm not actually gonna have to go in there like regularly to have um my aligner switch for some reason in my head whenever i've known someone to have um invisalign or like i just have like clear aligners they always tend to be going to the dentist a lot and i don't know it's probably for other things but i just felt like there will be a lot more dental appointments so yeah this is me from now on for the next eight weeks for 22 hours of the day and hopefully it won't impact my life too much because i'm not too much of a snacker i don't drink much that isn't water anywhere apart from my coffee in the morning and i am quite used to wearing a retainer fairly often as well and a big chunky one at that so hopefully this is actually going to impact my life a lot less and be a much nicer experience although i'm going to have to still wear my chunky nighttime one uh for the next eight weeks until i get like i'm going to get the final set of retainers top and bottom i 
think. And then we're also, what is it we're doing? We're also going to just file down one of my front teeth as well, because one is slightly longer than the other. I'm just so excited. All it needs is like a couple of little tweaks to be perfect. And I'm buzzing. I also went to the opticians after, I had a, like it was a productive morning. I picked up my new glasses. I'm so excited about these. For those of you that don't know, these are my old glasses. I love these. I'm still gonna wear these. I'm gonna have, whoa, they're so dirty. Um, I'm gonna have the lenses in them. Oh my God, they are actually so dirty. Um, I'm gonna have the lenses in them change to my new prescription. Hopefully also going to try out having contacts next year. I'm really excited. I, I'm gonna have to trim my nails down a bit for it for like the initial stages apparently, but that will be really exciting to do. I just decided this year, um, now that I'm officially, officially an adult, I was just going to do all of the things in 2022 or I kind of got a head start on it but I decided I was going to do all of the things that I just always really wanted to do and put off because like with my glasses it's like oh no I don't need like this pair or with like contacts I was like oh no it's just extra faff but actually extra faff that would make my life easier and the same with the braces as well it's like oh it's just so much to go through for such a small change um, but actually because I wanted a new retainer anyway because they just are getting so gross now um, I really take care of them but they're grim <laughs> so grim and obviously very inconvenient in terms of like my lifestyle and just my own personal preference um, I just decided to do the things that I have been wanting to do for so long and really really putting off and on a very tertiary level with that I also got some new glasses um, because I did need a spare pair of glasses I always want to have a pair that I have um, like one in my car, one in the house. Um, these will be my house pair, obviously. But these are my wow vision. Oh my God. These are my new glasses. I used to wear um, like thick frames like this all the time. They were like my go-to glasses. And then I switched to the Ray-Ban pair and just have always had my new prescription put into those because I just think they're so cute. But I wanted something that was like a little bit more I don't know, a little bit more chic that would just go a little bit better with certain outfits. I always find there's some outfits in my wardrobe that those ones just don't go with. There we go, good old beauty blogger trick. Uh, they have the little CC on the arms, which I just absolutely love. There was actually one pair of glasses that had the CC, but in the um, Chanel 19, that kind of like chain CC style, which was very cool, but I just really like these. They're so classic. They're like a forever pair of glasses and um, so yeah i'm really excited about these like it's weird to be excited about glasses because i'm never normally excited about them but i love these i think yeah i think they suit me i'd always wanted a pair of glasses like these and it was one of those things where i was like <sighs> just justifying that expense like which i'm good at doing with certain things but then certain other things in my life i'm not very good at doing like basically when it comes to any form of like actual personal care I'm really really bad at it which is terrible like I used to be the worst at doctor's appointments dentist's appointments and now I've like made a rule where it's like the set like the second a letter comes in from the doctor saying you're booked in for your smear I'm like right that gets booked I'm much better at taking care of myself now and I kind of want to like level that up a little bit for 2022 and just be like real good actual fully taking care of myself in all aspects of my life that is definitely going to be the vibe I think for 2022 is like really taking care of myself in a way that I haven't really over the past <laughs> like five years. I'm a real put work first kind of girl and I don't think that is ever going to really change. Like not work doesn't come first, but it's like a very high priority. I'm a little bit of a workaholic. I put a lot of pressure on myself and that's something that I definitely need to work on next year because especially the past couple of years with COVID, it's kind of, triggered something that kind of real deep rooted perfectionism seed that has always been there it started to really really grow and i think in 2022 i need to just like take care of myself a little bit better make the time for things like this is me starting just on a very like cosmetic level with like the glasses and my braces but really taking time out to take care of myself not only in that respect but also internally uh, which i definitely did this year um, the therapy was great. That was my main name for 2021 and I have absolutely zero regrets. It's really changed how I feel internally, especially like the past couple of months, we've done some amazing work on things that I didn't even really ever think I needed to work on. Um, and it's made it so that 
things still affect me like things still go wrong and you know nothing is perfect but these things don't knock me sideways in the way that they used to where I almost couldn't deal with the issue at hand because I was feeling so many things and getting into such a like state in terms of my anxiety around it whereas now the issue is like there but it's not like here and I don't feel it um, and it allows me to like manage situations I think a little bit better which is great I've also just learned as well that life is really short and don't do things that you don't want to do that has been the other thing that I've learned this year but next year I'm hoping to lean into that a little bit more and also just take the pressure off myself I put a lot of pressure on myself to be as perfect as I physically can be but also to deal with a lot of things very single-handedly like I don't like asking for help I don't like telling people that I need them even if I do need them um and that is something that I'm working on I'm getting better at but um yeah next year I will be trying to take the pressure off of myself a lot we're getting really deep here this is like the things that I'm changing for 2022 <laughs> in a nutshell how did I get onto this tangent I'm gonna roll with it but I don't know how I got here I also just really want to feel settled next year like there's been so many things that I've been working towards and I have my goals I'm firm on those I'm flexible about the method of getting there but one thing I would love more than anything is to feel settled I actually haven't felt settled throughout my 20s there has not been a place really that i fully call home even when i bought this house uh covid was a thing and i was just unsure even, even when i was like moving in i was like oh my god what is going to happen over the next year like at the point where i was told i could move in i hadn't had work for three months this was at the very start of covid and i was bricking it as much as i had physically bought a home and this is my home it stopped me from having that safe settled feeling and when people would say are you settling into your new home i would be like no, I don't know what that means. I actually don't really know what it means to feel settled and maybe I'll maybe I'll never feel settled, but it's something that I am definitely working towards for 2022. Ryan and I would love to live together um, and kind of just like actually put down some roots. So whatever way, however that situation actually works itself out, because we have a lot of options at the moment, um, and in whichever way that that works itself out is that I will take it. I just want that is going to be my goal. I'm going to put down roots. I'm going to just settle and enjoy my life a little bit more because the past couple of years for so many of us have just not been all that enjoyable. But yeah, we are entering the decade of me living my best life. I feel like my 20s will be really grafting and I really would like it if even for just for the next year, I could just reap the benefits. I want the next 10 years to be like, living my best life in a way that is sensible and plans for the future but also is like in the moment having fun this dog my dpd man is so funny he always normally comes really early in the morning i'm talking like it will be half past seven i'm like is this even legal and it's one of those situations i'm talking about where i haven't quite got out of bed yet so i'm in my pajamas my brace is in and i just look at him and i'm like Hi. he's like oh not up yet and i'm like no i work from home <laughs> and he's so nice um but he literally just went oh you're awake today <laughs> like yeah you know it's half past one hun <laughs> we need to settle we both need to settle that is our goal for 2022 settle mm -hmm. <laughs> she's so cute i just love her <laughs> no thank you but anyway some shopping whilst I was uh, waiting for my car to be clean so I also had that done whilst I was having my braces fitted and getting my glasses multitasking at its finest I picked up something in Zara home and I really want to show you but it's so glittery that I'm scared for myself once this goes up I'm never touching it again until it has to come back down and look at this wreath <laughs> look at this wreath <laughs> I'm obsessed I need to get a um what do you call it some wreath hangers because i had two and can i find them no so i have two i have a real one here waiting to be hung which i'm gonna hang outside i think because all of my doors in the house are like a real wood and when you put these wreaths on them they actually like leave a mark and i'm really not down for that so i think i'm gonna put my real one outside and then the white one i will put inside my house because it's so cute and also i got a new christmas decoration look at this bad boy i love unicorns by the way the last unicorn was my favorite childhood film if anyone has seen it i feel like it's a real niche one if you're a 90s baby i'm obsessed with unicorns i love them and uh this is 
so perfect. And I also picked up a sweater from um, Zara. I love this. I thought so many of you would love this too. So I will try and find it if I can and link it. I got this in a size large because it was the last size and it actually, I think it's more of a like, it's like a slouchy fit. If I were to get a small, it'd be like slouchy, but it would be quite short and it wouldn't be like particularly oversized. Um, I could have got a medium, but this is going to be like a really nice oversized knit. Like it's one of those perfect ones where if you just want it oversized, you can size up. And if you want it to be more of a snug fit, then you just get your regular size. Yeah, I love that. I'm so excited to wear that this weekend. It's so cozy. Um, another one I'm excited to wear this weekend. I popped into flannels, which I have real gripes with because the one in Brighton is nowhere near as good as any other flannels that I've been into. However, I was like, I'm just going to pop in and see if they like increased the stock because they were so like freshly launched in october when i went in they have started to put in new stock so i'm starting to see just like new brands or like burberry have got more in there for example there's celine bags are starting to trickle their way in i think they're really missing a trick on not having ysl bags in there because they do in the cardiff one and i think that would do very very well in brighton but it's not for me to say but I picked up this sweater an actual sweater it's really cute i really like this one i've wanted it for quite a while and i just saw it and i was like do you know what? i'm gonna pick it up oh, it just looks so snugly so yeah that is what i got i um, just picked up a few bits i'm gonna get on do some cleaning make some banana bread i'm so excited <laughs> is just being finished up and i realized i didn't outro it so i just wanted to come on here and say hello and goodbye i hope you have all had such a lovely week i hope you enjoyed this week's vlog i'll be back with you again on thursday this week for a new vlog thursday and then next monday and then we are out of here for christmas p.s links to everything that i baked this week will be in the info box uh the banana bread was absolutely delicious and we also made our gingerbread cookies which are also delicious and they freeze really well i was eating mine well into like spring last year they were so good um i'll show you quickly so these are the gingerbread 
cookie dough balls that we were baking yesterday or like making yesterday we um just cooked a couple and then froze the rest yeah we freeze them in little balls and then just stick them in the oven in the morning along with our coffees and they are incredible so i'll leave the link to that below as well and the banana bread went down very very well in this house let me tell you we have an end left so uh, yeah, both of these are absolutely delicious. I'll link the recipes for them in the info box below. We had the best weekend of baking and these were just perfect. But yeah, that is actually it from me. I'm actually going now. Love you, bye.